What is going on, folks? It's your boy, Harry, AKA Hangry Half Asian. Guess what? We got Nick's ice cream. Let's do a review. All right, let's talk about Nick's ice cream. So the founder of Nick's uh, was diagnosed as pre-diabetic uh, back in 2014, and he realized he needed to change his lifestyle. Now, when he did so, he realized that he missed his favorite snacks, ice cream. So what did he do? He started his own company. Now, Nick's is gonna have some, Nick's has some stiff competition out there. There's Keto, there's Halo Top, Enlightened, Rebel. So let's see how Nick's matches up. Now, there's six flavors in a Keto bundle, $60. The link will be down in the description. You can also find them at your local grocer. I believe it's like $5.99 a pint. However, uh, you know, depending on what grocery store you go to, their selection may be limited. All right, so we have Swedish pistache, we have Swedish vanilla, we have salted caramel, uh, what else do we have? Strawberry swirl, birthday, birthday cake, and a Swedish lemon bar. All right, so nutrition facts. We'll be right here. All right, so 60 cows, two and a half fats, three proteins, 15 total carbs. Now, if you do the keto math, that works out the five, four or five net carbs. We're actually gonna, just gonna do the vanilla um, uh, nutrition facts because I think that's just easier. They hover around four to five net carbs. Now, keep in mind, the serving size is a quarter of a pint. Now, Halo Top and Enlighten, I believe it's like eight or nine uh, total net, or I'm sorry, net carbs per entire pint. So it's a little high. You know, your you know, mileage may vary. I, I, I don't know. I, I would just be careful with this. So for the ingredients, they'll be right here. Uh, skim milk, uh, soluble corn fiber, allulose, uh, EPG, modified plant-based oil. I don't even know what that is. Erythritol, uh, milk protein uh, concentrate. It does have xylitol, folks. So just be careful with xylitol. It can be super, super deadly to your pet, even in small amounts. All right, let's do vanilla first. Okay, rip her open here. So, smell test. No. Yeah. <laughs> Smells like vanilla bean. Taste test, oh, nice and soft. It's only been sitting out for about five minutes, so it's uh, really soft. I noticed with some of the other ones like uh, Enlightened and, um, and Halo Top, you need to let them sit out for at least 15 or 20 minutes. Hmm, that's pretty good. And vanilla, you can't really mess up vanilla. You know what I mean? Like, who messes up vanilla ice cream? I mean, honestly, this is good. This is actually better. This is a better vanilla than the competitors for sure. I mean, this is, that's banging. Very hardcore vanilla bean taste, as expected, it's vanilla. Um, but it, I don't, Wow, it's very creamy. I'd say it's even creamier than the co competitors like Enlightened and um, uh, definitely Enlightened Rebel. This is definitely softer and creamier. I'm not sure what sorcery they, they have done, but it is definitely creamier. So score, I mean, it's a solid score. It's vanilla, I mean, it's vanilla, but it's a strong vanilla. I'm gonna go let me go three and a half, hangry half Asians out of five. All right, next up we got Swedish, Swedish pistache. Okay. All righty, smell test. It smells like chocolate, huh? How's that possible? Now let's get a visual on this for you folks out there. Let's see, can you see that? Zoom in on that, okay? Yeah, I mean, it's just, uh, it's like a light, very lime green. Test test. Hmm. Very. It's an odd flavor. I've had pistachio cake, pistachio ice cream before. It's a very pronounced nutty flavor. It's really good. It's different. It's real different. Really good though. Wow. I actually thought this was gonna be my least favorite. This might be 
one of my new favorites. It's just a very pistachio-y flavor. It's hard to explain. Almost, now let me get some, let me get some nuts. This is banging. This is four Hangry Half Asians all day, every day out of five. All right, next up, let's see. Salta Caramel. All right. Rip her open. Come on. Okay, so gonna get a new spoon. Pardon me. Um, okay, so there is, there is a vein. Let's see if I can. So smell test doesn't smell like anything. Visual test, if I could see that vein. Yeah, nice vein of caramel or caramel, depending on where you're from. All right. All right, taste test. Whoa. Really banging caramel flavor. Hits you, smacks you right in the face. It's, uh, it's pretty good. I can't believe how creamy these are. All right, so if you had Enlightened, had Rebel, had Halo Top, they're tasty, without a doubt. But they're definitely not as creamy as this. This is like silky smooth. Not one little hint of ice or that, um, just that weird consistency on some of the flavors that, especially that Enlightened had. It just had more of like a crystalline taste, you know, like an ice crystal. This is not, it's like super velvety smooth. Wow, this is banging. Whew, you can taste the caramel. The caramel's, it's, there's a lot of salt. I think it's like flavor exp explosion in your face. Um, whew, this, I, I don't know. This could be a four and a half. This could be a four. I haven't tasted the other ones yet. I don't want to go too high, but this one's really good. Man, I'm going to go. Four and a half hangry half Asians out of five. Next up, we have strawberry swirl. All right, cram your heart. <laughs> cram your heart out. Okay. All these uh, kitschy sayings on these ice creams. Okay. All right. So let's see. Ooh, we have a vein of like it looks like strawberry goo. So I'm gonna dig into that. Let's get a smell test. Light hint and strawberry. I'm gonna get in on this little vein of strawberry goodness. Oops, just knocked my light over. So look at that and see that strawberry vein. Look at that. And it looks like an all natural strawberry vein, not like some crappy, you know, processed, fake strawberry. That's like au natural strawberry. All right, taste test. Folks, it's like strawberry just exploded right in your face. That is so good. How didn't I try this before? I mean, they've been out for a while. I've gotten a couple messages. Dog hair in my mouth. Um, I got a couple messages that, you know, you should review it. I've been putting it off. Holy shnikes, this is good. Like, this tastes like natural strawberry ice cream. It's like... Some old lady was in like, on the farm, smashing this, you know, making vanilla ice cream, throwing in fresh strawberries, smash them up, folding it in. Like, this is so tasty. This is amazing, this is like, it's like, I don't know, it tastes like fresh, fresh ice cream, I don't know. Maybe it's me, maybe it's just because it's so soft. It's like, I can't stop eating it. I can't stop talking about it, it's so good. This is a four and a half hangry half Asians. All right, I'm gonna try to stop blabbering like an idiot. Let's go, I don't know, this lemon bar can't be any good. So we're gonna save birthday cake till the end. Let's do, let's do lemon bar. Interesting, no, no funny saying on here. What do you know? All right, smell test. Can't smell anything, doesn't smell like anything. There, nothing to really look at. It's just, uh, just like yellow. Taste test. 
Yeah, tastes like window cleaner. I mean, it's good. It's fresh. It's very, this is like cleanse your palate after dinner fresh. I mean, it's, it's kind of like windexing your mouth. It's okay. A little, it's not artificial. It just, it's very fresh. If you're into like lemon zest, that's what this is like. It's like, it's like a little bitterness coming through with lemon zest. It is sweet for sure. Creamy as always. Um, it's like just like a fresh. It's okay. It's not my favorite. The other flavors are absolutely banging. This one, if you're into lemon, you'll love this. Eh, I'm going to go to, wait, hold on. Two and a half hangry half Asians out of five. All right, I think I saved the best for last. This is gonna be birthday cake. Mm, looks like, uh-oh. Looks like it was open already. I opened this too easy. Mm, all right, get a spoon. All right, this thing <sighs> smells like birthday cake. Let's get a visual on this. It has all the usual shards of birthday goodness, little uh, jimmies or sprinkles, wherever you're from. There's, uh, there's some pink sprinkles, some blue sprinkles, some orange sprinkies. Uh, yeah. <sighs> smells, oh, smells freaking amazing, folks. All right. Calm down. <sighs> Going in. So, powerful, very powerful birthday cake flavor. The sprinkles, they separate. So like the, the, the ice cream, it's so creamy, dissolves out first and you're left with these like jimmies or sprinkles. And you just like kind of like chew on them with your teeth a little bit. But they have like a little gritty flavor. I mean, it's okay. It's tasty. Don't get me wrong. Super creamy, just like the other ones. I love birthday cake anything. Honestly, that's usually my favorite. Surprisingly, this is not. I mean, it's good. It's really good. And the sprinkles, they have a unique texture. And all they kind of, although they kind of crumble in your mouth, it's still really good. It's still really colorful too. Like, yeah. I don't know, it's growing on me. I'm like, I need more. It's like coat my palate. And I don't know, I'm like kind of digging it now, I don't know. But this is definitely not as good as strawberry. I don't know if it's as good as straight up, I mean, I don't know if it's as good as the straight up vanilla even. Um, the solid caramel was like so good. The, the Swedish pistachio was amazing. But this is good. I just, I think expectations got to me. High hopes for this one, and it kind of let me down. But it's still really good. I'm gonna go three hangry half Asians out of five. All right, folks, in summary, pretty freaking amazing, let me tell you. Now, listen, the birthday cake and the lemon, meh, all the other ones, awesome. Now, uh, it is creamier, right? Which is way better, honestly, I believe in terms of texture, this is the best keto ice cream texture I've had. However, you pay a price for that by higher net carbs. You can only eat a quarter of these, a quarter of a pint for uh, four or five net carbs. You could pretty much eat an entire pint of Halo Top and or Enlightened uh, with a you know combined like eight or nine net carbs and be totally fine. So I would watch the net carbs on these, but I do think it's worth it because the texture and the, the flavor profiles, oh, this strawberry, you gotta try this strawberry, folks. I'm telling you, it's so good. All right, calm down, Harry. All right, so on, anyways, I think these are amazing. Go check them out. Link will be down in the description or at your local grocer. And uh, hey, if you like this content, please give me that thumbs up. Please consider subscribing and Leave me a comment. Tell me what you like, what you don't like, and I will catch you on the next one, folks. Thank you. Bye-bye.